What's up YouTube, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here today with a PSA submission video. So I think I have about 220 cards. So I'm trying not to make this too long, but I do want to go go through what I'm going to be submitting here in, within the next week because on September 1st, PSA's bulk prices uh, over 100 goes from $7 a card to $8 a card. So I really don't want to pay a couple extra hundred bucks to submit the same number of cards so and I uh, kind of got on showcase some old 2002 2003 video game promos in the background and so hope you guys enjoy those cards as much as I do and uh, we'll get right into it with some video game promos so we have a Karibo from PCY Red Eyes B Dragon from PCJ this is personally probably my favorite rendition of Red Eyes, um, this prismatic foil with that artwork. We have a Beta, the Magnet, Magnet Warrior from Duelist of Roses, I think, D-O-R. And then we have a Graceful Dice from Eternal Duel Soul, and that uh, would be the same game as the exchanges back there. Then we have a Valkyron, the Magna Warrior from SDD, which is Stairway to Destin, Destiny, I think. And that's the same as the Harpy's Feather Duster. Have a few unlimited here. The uh, Reverse Foil Unlimited Serpent Knight Dragon from Magic Ruler. And a Missouri Deville from AST. I pulled both these cards from 10, so that's the only reason I'm grading them. Um, we'll get into some Rise of Destiny cards. We have Diffusion Wave Motion, Special Edition. We have four, Dark Magician Girl, RDS, Special Edition, number two. Two, Judgment of Anubis, Special Edition three, and one, Vampire Lord, Special Edition four. So hopefully we can get a complete set of those in Gen Mint 10. And we have a few ultimates from Rise of Destiny. We have Fusilor Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast. Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. Serial Spell. And Flint. We have a few other random ultimates here. We have Gladiator Beast Torax from uh, Gladiator's Assault. Ultimate Rare and a Necro Gardena from Tactical Evolution Ultimate Rare. And then another Tactical Evolution card, Venomanaga, the D of Poisonous Snakes. Always really enjoyed this artwork and uh, hope this can get a good grade. And you can see kind of shine the, the foil on this shines through. All the Tactical Evolution secrets really seem to pop. We have two Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the Ends. Um, I think one has to be Euro printed or something because this one is so much darker than this one. But nonetheless, I'm um, really hopeful we can get at least one tin out of those two. Then we have a bunch of Retro Pack 2 cards. So we have three Gores the Emissary of Darkness uh, limited edition cards and six Green Baboon Defender of the Forest limited edition cards. So we'll definitely be selling the majority of those once they come back. We have Valkyron the Magna Warrior from Retro Pack 2 still. Secret Rear. Light and Darkness Dragon. Secret Rare Retro Pack 2. Victory Dragon. Secret Rare Retro Pack 2. And Dredgeth Harvester from Retro Pack 2. Secret Rare. Then we have a few Ultras. We have Jinzo. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Two United We Stands. Dark Ruler Hades, or Hades, as some people say. And we have uh, quite a few supers here. We have Buster Blader, 
Limiter Removal, Jam Defender, Dark Necro Fear, Destiny Board, a lot of LON cards, LOD cards that are reprinted in Retro Pack 2, Tyrant Dragon, Hino Kagu Sushi, Lava Golem reprint from PGD to Retro Pack 2. And then we have, if I can grab it, three Insect Queens Super Rares. So then we'll be on to some more Absolute Power 4 stuff. Uh, submitted some stuff in the last submission. We have XX Saber High Only, a Ultra Rare Majestic Red Dragon, have a PSA 9 Pack Fresh Ghost Rare version of that, a Kaoki Miru Ur Knight Ultimate Rare. Pulled this one myself, was really stoked about this pull. Battle Fader Ultimate Rare, Garland Off King of Destruction Ultimate Rare. A majestic red dragon and ultimate rare so hopefully I can get pretty much tens in all three versions of tens or nines I'll have the nine and ghost and then hopefully I can get tens in the other two versions drill warrior first edition two sun dragon entes ultimate rares two alchemist of black spells ultimates my personal favorite card from the set XX Saber Emerus Blade, Secret Rare. I mean, you can see the foil popping down there. I mean, just real shiny card. Cactus Bouncer. Dijin Desiree of Rituals. Real good pop of hollow on that. And we have Underground Arachnid and Z-Man the Ape King as well. All right, we're going to kind of bounce all over the place now. We have Gemini Elf from Libereth of Nightmare, Mask of Dispel, Super Rare, and I think all of these are first edition if they can be. Humanoid Worm Drake, Needle Burrower from AST, Legacy Hunter from AST, First Sarcophagus, AST, some Ultras from AST, we have Enemy Controller, and uh, one of my personal um, favorite artworks, Spirit of the Pharaoh. We got into some Pharaoh Servant. We have Jinzo, popular Jinzo. Two Imperial Orders. Two Parasite Parasides. Popular Weevil card. Iconic Grave Robber times two. Dust Tornado, two Mirror Walls, Backup Soldier, Magical Hats, real iconic Yugi card, used it a lot. Fairy Meteor Crush, Limiter Tur Removal, Gear Fried the Iron Knight, Then we have some Ultras, Chain Destruction, Call of the Haunted, one of my uh, personal favorite trap cards from the earlier sets, uh, Premature Burial, two Goblin Attack Force, two Fiend Mega Cybers, and pretty much all of these uh, Pharaoh Servant cards will be for sale. Last Ultra, Beast of Talwar. And then we have, uh, I always thought this should have been a hollow, Sword Hunter. Really like the artwork on this, so hopefully it can get a 10. Then we have a uh, Machine King from the European Mall Tour 1. Uh, I had one in PSA 10, and it's one of my favorite cards for sure. We have a few misprint, um, Collector 10 2004 series of Noxious Celtic Guardian and Insect Queen, the Ultra Rare Foils. 
And then we have the Secret Rare Foil Insect Queen and Secret Rare Foil Blade Knight. And we have some um, 2003 tins. We have Dark Magician, Buster Blader, and XYZ Dragon Cannon from the 2003 tin series. So then we're going to get it into some MRD cards. We have Witch of the Black Forest, Rare. Tribute to the Doomed, times two. I bought some random packs off eBay for pretty cheap, and I pulled opened one and pulled one hollow, and it happened to be one of those Tribute to the Doomed, so that was pretty cool. Garnesia Elephantis, times two, the, the poor man's red eyes. The Fluffy Furball, Karibo. Two Twin-Headed Thunder Dragons, first edition. Suogen, Heavy Storm, have a few Ultras, uh, probably two of the more iconic, I mean, MRD just has really good Ultras, but B-Skull is the uh, the cover art, and uh, Mirror Force, so two good Ultras to have out of that set. And then we have a Thousand Dragon as well. So then we'll get into a few MRL cards, we have Manga Rai Ran, or Ru Ran. Cyber Jar, always love the artwork on that. And Slot Machine, I just love my machines. A cool artwork for a common. A few Supers, Banisher of the Light. Giant Trunade. Confiscation. Uh, we have a random Ghost Rare, Honest. We can see if we can get the. Uh, no, we're not even. Can't get the angle to get. There we go, kinda. So yeah, really beautiful card. And then we're into good old classic LOB card. So hopefully this can get a ten right here. Guy the Dragon Champion. We have Monster Reborn first print, beautiful card. Uh, I don't really expect some of these to get 10s, but never know. Left leg of the Forbidden One, first print. It's got uh, kind of a defect on the front, so we'll see. And uh, th this is the trap hole I pulled from the... Uh, bought 10 random packs off eBay, and they happened to be first print, and two of them had uh, hollows. This is not the left leg that I pulled out of that. Oh, I'm going to be submitting that to BGS, I think. Sort of Revealing Light, second print, first edition. Then we have a bunch of rares. Try to speed this up. Karubin, the Fire Knight, Dark Fire Knight, Aquamador, Flame Ghost, Dragon Capture Jar times two, Fissure, Carbonia Warrior, Giant Soldier of Stone, Stop Defense, Goblin Secret Remedy, Armed Ninja, Hain Hain, and Metal Dragon. So I think 13 of the 20 rares here we're going to submit. Then we have some commons. Fabrication, Forest, Mountain, Sogan, Yami, Beaver Warrior, Silver Bow and Arrow, and Follow Wind. And then we have some TP1. Patrol Robo, Elf Slight, Tiger Axe, Beast King of the Swamps, Oslo Hero number two, Giant Flea, Bean Soldier, the Statue of Easter Island, Corroding Shark, always love the artwork on that, Wow Warrior times two, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number two, Oslo Hero, Shining Friendship, The Judgment Hand, so, and uh, let's see, a few more here. Wudan, the Resident of the Forest, times two, and Cyber Soldier of Dark World. Then we have some TP2 cards. Call of the Grave. This is the only uh, hollow from TP2 I'm missing. And Jim at 10, I have it PSA 9. Mika Zukunoyaba. Skull Guardian, 
have that in PSA 10 already. And then uh, we'd really like to get some of these in 10. Novak's Prayer, Doker Rider, Revival of Doker Rider, Sonic Maid, Mystical Sheep Number One, Warrior of Tradition. And we'll get into some TP2 Commons, Dancing Elf, True Purin, the Harma Cannon, Spirit of the Books times two, Faith Bird, Takui, Queen of Autumn Leaves, Two Added King Rex, Crawling Dragon number two, Sky Dragon, Water Magician, and then we have TP6, Tomb Cannon Soldier, and TP8, Magical Arm Shield. And uh, the last card on the bulk submission I'm submitting is Compulsory Evacuation Device from Tournament Pack 4. I think, yeah, Tournament Pack 4. And then I'm also submitting a few cards for a buddy across seas. He trusted me enough to send his cards to me to send to PSA, making a couple bucks a card, and he's saving a lot of money that I'm doing it instead of him. So here's video proof that I'm actually sending them in, and they will be... Serial numbered after this card. So we have a Red Eyes B Dragon times two, Guy of the Fierce Knight, Solemn Judgment, Summon Skull, and Jinto from Pharaoh's Servant. Uh, really well centered Yamada Dragon, um, really well centered Dark Paladin, two Black Luster Soldiers from IOC, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End from IOC. And Sly for an obelisk, C silver or secret prismatic from the Game Boy Advance game. So that's it on the um, bulk submission. And then there are a few cards that are too expensive that I cannot sneak by the under $100. So I'm sending in a Dark Magician Girl from Magician's Force. Big Boy from... LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon second print. One morphing jar. Two morphing jar. And another big boy. Stardust Dragon. Beautiful looking card. And then I'm sending one card in for the guy across seas. And that's a Dark Magician Girl as well. And then I'm actually going to play by the rules and instead of cracking them myself, just because they are such grade, high grades in BGS, I'm going to submit them fully slabbed and try to get, convert them to 10. So we have magic formula with two 10s and two 9.5s, so I just can't see how this won't get a 10. And then Blue Eyes Shining Dragon from Retro Pack 2. And they have three 9.5s and a 10, so I just... I cannot see how either of these wouldn't get converted to a 10, and that's what I have the minimum grade all as, so hopefully they'll get converted. I, I really want to do it the right way, and um, I don't want to risk damaging those expensive cards, cracking them. So hopefully not too long a video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm going to submit. Lots of high dollar cards here, lots of cards that... I personally just want to grade for my collection and a lot of these, um, all these tournament pack cards will pretty much stay in the collection. But a lot of the MRD, MRL, um, LOB hollows, um, they'll all be for sale. All the Pharaoh Servant hollows, yeah, all these MRD hollows will be for sale. I mean, it's gonna take it's gonna take probably three or four months for me to get them back, so. But keep an eye out, I'll for sure be doing a return video, so hope I didn't drag on too long here, and subscribe if you're not. And as always, thanks for watching.